Okay, welcome to part two. Uh, we're on page 605. We want to look at uh, example eight. So I think we may have looked at this already, but we want to, the probability of picking an ace out of a deck. Well, that would be four out of 52, which reduces to one out of 13. Probability of picking a heart. Well, there are 13 hearts out of 52 which reduces to one out of four. Probability of picking a face card. Well, there are three face cards, Jack, Queen, King in each suit. So that's four times 12 times three, which is 12 out of 52, which reduces to three out of 13, okay? Example nine, we're looking at what's the probability of landing on a railroad in Monopoly on your first roll? Well, in order to understand that, we have to understand that we have two die of six. So there are 36 possible outcomes you can get. So you can get snake eyes, you can get a one and a two, you can get a one and a three. You can get a one and a four and so forth. That combination is listed on page 606. Well, uh, from um, go to the first railroad, there are five spaces. So we want the probability of getting a five. Well, there are four possibilities out of the 36 of getting a five, which reduces to one and none. So you have a one in nine chance of getting a railroad on your first roll. Okay. Um, example 10. Uh, I want you to read through that one on your own. Again, it's very, it's, uh, if you ever watched the, uh, let's make a deal. You get, th you know, door number one, door number two, door number three, and you can switch it up. All right. Uh, so, you know, sometimes it's a clunker. Sometimes you're, it's a better, uh, prize but you can see the probability of that on your own so just look at through example 10 on your own all right coming down to the home stretch here now we're talking about probabilities with and and or all right so think about your sets all right so and the union and was union or would be disjoint. Okay. And would be union or would be disjoint because disjoint is mutually exclusive. All right. So we're thinking of the problem. What's the probability of getting a two or a king? Well, there are four twos out of 52, and there are four kings out of 52. The events are mutually exclusive because they are different cards. So four plus four would give us the eight out of 52, which reduces to two out of 13. Okay. The pro probability of getting a two or a heart. Now, these are not mutually exclusive because there is a two of heart. So we have to be careful. Be careful of the overlap. That would be like in here. We got the overlap. So we have to account for that. So first of all, we're going to take the probability of a two, which would be four out of 52 plus the probability of getting a heart, which is 13 out of 52. But one of these 13 is also a two, so which we have accounted for in the first one. So we're gonna back that one out. All right, so we would get 16, 50 seconds, which reduces the four out of 13. So basically, if they're not mutually exclusive, we're gonna have to back out the overlap. Okay, so what's the probability of getting a two and a king? 
Well, because it's impossible, this is no. All right, it's not possible to get a two and a king on a draw. Okay, but we can say what's the probability of getting a two and a heart? Well, if it's the two of hearts, then it's that one card out of the 52. So they do become, uh, they, although they are mutually, they have, a, a, they're connected because there's a two and a heart, there's a two of hearts. So there is, they're not mutually exclusive. So it does have an, a likely outcome. Remember, again, thinking of disjoint versus overlapping. If they're not mutually exclusive, then they're disjoint. And there's no likelihood. That's this scenario. This scenario, we have the overlap, so it can, it can occur. Okay? That brings us to the end of section 13.1. Make sure we're doing the work for 15-1. I'm sorry, 13-1. If you have any questions, make sure you're emailing me or joining into the Zoom session. Uh, Till next time, take care. Be safe.